Charlie, many thanks for that. Thank you. Uh, that was Charlie Wolf, uh, Republican commentator, uh, joining us here in the studio. Now, Tunisia was at the uh, forefront of the Arab Spring in 2011, but that optimism took another blow last month when a gunman inspired by the self-proclaimed Islamic State murdered 38 tourists at a beach resort. Many wonder whether the country can carve out a brighter future for itself in the face of such serious challenges. Indeed, that's the theme of a new play that looks at Tunisia through the eyes of a construction worker there, Khmeis. Decisive blends his words with that contemporary dance to adapt the myth of Sisyphus, uh, hence the title, by Albert Camus. According to the ancient Greek legend, Sisyphus defied the gods and was damned to rolling a rock up a hill only to watch it roll down again for all eternity. News Hour's Liana Hazair asked the play's creator and actor, Maha Awashri, how the Greek tragedy related to the life of a Tunisian construction worker. I started this piece before actually the revolution and my main question was what was the project of this country? I choose the construction worker, the image of building something but you don't know what you built because you know in the time of Ben Ali he was building a lot of things but for no reason actually without any clear view for the society we are just lost and this is what really pushed me to write this piece yeah. I mean, was there a sense at the time when you were writing it of people feeling that they had nothing more to lose like the character in the play does I, I pushed my character to the point that he felt like it's okay if he die, you know, but to confront the absurdity you have to choice. You accept this absurdity as a, a part of your life or you choose the way of suicide. And there is many ways of suicide, not only suicide physically, you can only suicide mentally. I see a lot of people are really dead because I cannot see any future in their eyes. And I did a lot of research with the people working in a construction site and big part of the text is inspiring from the interviews. What were construction workers saying to you at the time then? One of them, he said to me, like, every day I woke up, I feel myself as a dead because they don't feel his body anymore because the work is so hard. I found a lot of pressure before the revolution because we were afraid there is no change anymore and nobody was happy with that, you know, even we don't express our opinion. We really wanted to have a change, whatever this change meant. So how has life changed or not for a man like the construction worker now after the revolution? I must say there is no really big change, you know, for them uh, at least. But there is one thing that people start to talk about themselves. Freedom of speech is something really, really big and we, we didn't experiment this before. Is there freedom of expression completely when it comes to the role of Islam, which your play also deals with, because it's an extremely divisive topic in Tunisia and even within your own family. Yeah, actually, like, I'm an atheist and my family, they don't know that I am an atheist, to know. Uh, they might know now. Uh, yeah, I guess they know, but we cannot really talk about this, mm. so... But because your brother actually spent time in jail, didn't he, under Ben Ali, because of his support for the Ennahda Muslim Brotherhood of Tunisian party. So it is something very big It's happened to me. when I had just six years old, and I remember very well when the special police came and they broke everything in the house and they take him in front of my family and from my mother. And I, I was shocked and traumatized from this. And he was only 18 years old and he spent one year and after that he comes out from the prison and come back again. For sure, I'm against all the Islamist party. And, but anyway, we must accept that some people, they believe that Islam could really give a new society like uh, all the country in Europe. Up. 
my my brother he accept me and he know that I'm an atheist and we talk too much about the political situation and all of that and also I have a uh, Salafist friends uh, I meet them every day in the coffee and we talk and they know that I'm an atheist sometimes it's hard to accept each other and but most of the time it's okay but there is some people like the tourists that that I guess all the war they must deal with it well that's what I was interested in because Tunisia you've got broad political plurality hmm. why then is there space for these extremists I guess the security issues they make space for them there is many important problem to face it more than the tourism actually because we have a lot of poverty now and we have no jobs and it's a pity that all the energy of the country go to find a solution for the tourism and for the Islamists and make a big discussion on TV and radio what is the right Islam what is the wrong Islam if you want to really to support the country we must open a discussion about our education for example about the economical problem this is the big problem this is the emergency I guess if we face these problems, terrorism we will not find a place in the future. That was Tunisian playwright and actor Maha Awashri uh, on his new work, uh, De Sisif.